Hello, hello everyone. I'm Intern, and let me tell you about something I've been looking forward to for a long time. It's a game called Hard Space Shipbreaker, where you go into space, cut down ships worth millions of dollars in order to pay off a debt in the billions of dollars. I've been following this game for a while, but it finally got its 1.0 release today on Steam. So let's just jump right in and you can see what I'm talking about. So here we go. This is our little hab area where we get to mess with our equipment and whatnot. And if we come over here, then we get a nice little motivational poster. Uh-huh. Uh, let's just start working. And so here we get to pick what ship we're gonna cut down. That one's looking nice. 11 million bucks for that one. And that's actually the most expensive one. It's a very interesting design. So here we are. There it is. Ooh, look at all the systems booting up. I like that. Let's just get a little closer, see what we're working with. So it tells me this is like a patrol craft so i think there's gonna be like a lot of scouty stuff like this antenna we can just rip that off and then throw it down into the barge because that's where it goes and look at that we already get a little bit of credit for it oh no this one we can't just rip off it's like bolted down or something so we gotta cut it out which makes sense we are cutters after all so we just get all four of these connectors and it's free and then we just throw that into the barge as well and bamo we sails through space. It's so fun. Oh, that was worth a lot of credit. So we'll just quickly get the rest of these external bits off of there. Oh, please make it. Oh, no, you missed. Why would you miss? There you go. Now, I think that was all of the outside parts. I think, anyway. Let's take a look here. I think these are engines. Oh, yeah. Those are huge. Wow, you gotta be worth so much. So let's just cut you away. Whoa. What was that? Is this thing pressurized? Uh, no. Red means it's not pressurized. Okay, so I don't know why it did that. That was freaky. I just started this. I don't need to blow up yet. Woo. And there it goes. Okay, these also go down into the barge. Let me cut off both of these. And then we get the other one. Whoa. They just explode so violently. And then we can do a neat little trick where we tether both of these together and then just launch one into the barge. And it should pull the other one with it. Yes, it's working. Oh, there's so many fun systems in this game. I love it. And oh, oh what do we have down here? What is down here? Oh dear, this is very claustrophobic. Flush switch. What are we flushing exactly? Flush fuel from the nacelles and conjoined pipes. Uh, okay. Let's just flip that. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, this thing just split apart and my fuel's low. That was cool. I'm gonna do that to the other one. Whoa, what is that unit? A regulator. Okay. Um, hi, don't mind me. I'm just gonna flush your system. Oh, that's so intimidating, but I love it. Okay, so now these are in nice even halves that are also, I think, yeah, these are way too heavy for my grapple. The question is, are they too heavy for tethers? We just yank it over that way. Oh, it's working. It's working. I love it. Okay, so we'll just let that go about its day and we'll help it a little bit because it's heavy i just don't want this to accidentally fly into that furnace because that's not where it's supposed to go hey go that way there you go just a little bit of course correction all right that's working very nicely and now my oxygen is low as well oh come on make it in the th make it in the proper thing come on make it make it make it oh yeah it's gonna make it there we go Okay, Processing now that that's going in, I'm just going to cancel those tethers so it can do its proper thing. And some lights are getting destroyed. I don't care about those. I'm going to care about my state of being, though, so I'm going to get some oxygen and fuel back here, you know, before I suffocate in space. Some oxygen and some fuel. Thank you. I think I will have a nice day because I get to cut more of this ship apart. Oh, there are some lights on top of here. I don't know, maybe I'll just get rid of these. Oh yeah, these things don't really do much of anything for cutting progress. Although we do have the glass here for the cockpit. 
Uh, which should, yeah, the whole ship's unpressurized. So we just cut away the glass like so. There's also this thing that I forgot about. So go away. And this big ol' antenna as well. Transferring credits. So we can cut this away nice and cleanly. Send that down into the barge. And a searchlight. I wonder if that's more than a regular light. Nope. <laughs> it's worth the same amount. Lights are worthless. But we can cut away the glass of the cockpit. Or the canopy as they call it. And this goes into the furnace so we can just send that on its way. And we get a whole bunch of computer bits in here. Because this is the cockpit. So we just rip that out. Send it down. Chair. Mine's better. And more computers. And these computers are actually worth quite a bit of money. Well, maybe not money, but like, you know, cutting progress. Okay, before I do anything more, I want to make sure that these things get sent into the processors. But of course, these panels are in the way. And, whoa. Is that... Oh yeah, there's a fuel tank. Yeah, because I dis... I like, um, I flushed it or whatever. So it should be good to rip out, I would think. Yeah! And then this goes into the barge, so... Just snipe it down there so it doesn't blow up on anything. And that was not worth a whole lot. But I can also rip out this guy. Pull it out nice and clean. We don't want to blow ourselves up. Don't do that. Just go away from me in that direction. Okay, and then there's whatever this thing is, the fuel injector. We can cut that away pretty easily. Just like that, and like that. Careful not to blow up the other fuel tanks. And this also goes into the barge, it looks like. Seems like they really want to keep a lot of the ship for later. And oh, don't get close to the uh, furnace. Oh, that was worth a whole lot. Wow. If we get the other one, then that's going to bring us to that first uh, cutting tier. So let's get that underway. And actually, if I'm very careful about removing this, then I think I can just send this uh, fuel injector and the tanks at the same time. Okay, looking good. And send it away. Oh yeah, that was clean. And there's a switch that I think also goes in there. Not sure it matters, honestly. Hey, first cutting tier. Alright, Cutter. You got five minutes left in this Oh, we've already got five minutes left? Man, cutting these ships apart takes so much time. That's okay, though. We can come back to it. We just gotta make sure this one goes where it's supposed to. We gotta really make sure this goes where it's supposed to. Don't fly towards the furnace. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna send your back end that way, too. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Looking very good. Oh, yeah, you're lined up. I can send you on your way. It takes so many tethers to make sure this thing doesn't, you know, Warning. burn itself. Oxygen's low again. That's fine, I guess. Okay, let's pull the back end using that thing. That should be okay. Oh, please make it. Oh, please make it. Oh, please make it. I haven't even gotten to the inside of this ship. I'm just so worried about these giant bits on the outside. Okay, you're lined up there, so hopefully you fly in. And you're not in deep enough, so we'll just pull another one with you. Oxygen reserves are critical. Oh, oxygen's critical. Zip back to the kiosk. Asphyxiation coverage. Boy, if that were a thing. Oxygen. There we go. And that one's flying in nicely. So I think that's all of the actual outside bits this time. And now we get to go into the ship finally. Ooh. Oh man. What's, what's my system doing? It's on the fritz. Ooh. Hey, what's all this bit? Oh, there was fuel right there? I didn't need to buy it. Man. All right then. Let's cut out the floor so we can just send all whole bunch of stuff out through the bottom. Including chair. I'm surprised they want to keep a chair. Salvage registered. 
but they want to keep computers as well. Whoa! That was a weird electric spark thingy. Okay, a table gets thrown into the furnace. And this panel gets thrown into the processor. Along with that weird little fin bit. Cargo, barge, and ooh. And there's some neat little posters in here. And we can actually keep these and display them in their habitat. That's the, that's the secret behind the motivational poster you saw. Oh, there's a suit patch kit. I'll take that. And a repair kit. You can use that later. And there's oxygen. Oh, I didn't need to buy oxygen either. Just waste. Just putting myself more in debt because I don't bother to look inside ships. And this panel is free, so we get to send that away. Come on, over that way. Yes, there you go. And whoa, what was this? A credit drive? Ooh, I like me some credits. Credits awarded. All right, Cutter, wrap it up. You got about a left. Wrap it up. All right, fine. Uh, let's see if we can send this thing away in a minute. I would think so. So we get one, and then we get two. And then we get the backside. Okay, it's swinging. Not far enough. Come on. Get over that way. Yes, you don't want the furnace. It's scary in there. There you go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. And then we'll just send that on its way. Yeah, now it's going in properly, I think. It's, it's going too slow. It's not going to make it. Oh, uh, there we go. Yes, it made it. Oh, at the very end. Just a simple three million from that shift and we're not even done. So while we're in here, I'm just gonna give my friend a little bit of company with some new posters over there and right there. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. And we're just gonna get back out there. That thing's still being sent away, as struggling as it is. We should hopefully be able to get the rest of this ship inside of this shift. So we got, whoa. We'll just get bonked in the face by a storage bin. This is a little rude. And there's a lot of computer bits in here. Maybe we should send them out through the ceiling. And ooh, another poster right there. I already have this one, but I'll collect it anyway. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen this one before. Hardy. I have no idea who that is. Well, let's just cut away the ceiling like we do. And send it over that way. Very slow because it's heavy. But it's going in nice and easy. And ooh, a power junction box. Is that gonna be safe to rip out? I'll, I'll try it. Oh yeah, perfectly safe. And then we just send that away. Ooh, that was worth a fair bit. Okay, now let's rip out the back too. Okay, I was confused for a second because it disconnected and the frame was still there. I thought the computers were gonna be attached to it. But it's fine, makes my job easier. And woo, just made it in. And then we get to rip out things like chairs and computers again. These computers really add up in terms of value. Oh yeah, look at it go. We're gonna be a cutting tier two already. Yeah. Secured. It's nice when the work is easy. I say that, and I know the work is gonna get harder later because that's how games are. Burning Storage credit. bin go down. Just a measly little bottle. We can send that into the furnace because who cares? And this little bit should be good and empty. Salvage is there stuff in here? Ooh. Inside the shell of the ship. And it's making my helmet do weird sounds, but... We can cut it away. And oh, gotta be careful not to hit the fuel tank. Okay, and then some extras up here. And it should be free. Oh, the front is free. I don't know why this one, oh, that's why. And now the back one is free. I thought, oh, there's one down there, really? Just cut you. There we go. And it's still not, or is it just, Okay, it's just very heavy, that's why. There's also a power cell here that I think we can rip out fairly easily. Yeah. Man, being inside that weird little area really messes up the 
readout of my helmet, and then we just carefully send this guy on its way. It's so fun seeing these gigantic ship parts just barrel through the air, and then this cheeky little fuel tank we send away, and this guy. This is a real trick right here, the reactor. See what happens is, as soon as we rip this out, yeah, it starts to go into meltdown. So we gotta send that to the barge really quick. Oh yeah, that was easy. And that was worth so much. Love that. Okay. <laughs> Our guy gets really stressed out because of that. So then we just cut away the rest of the shell, including the little bits around the airlock. Hello, Mr. Fuel Tank, you will not get in my way. And then cut that away. And there's only these little things keeping the airlock in. Warning. So we'll just low carefully get rid of that. Reserve. And because we have low oxygen, I'm just gonna find that tank I found earlier. Um, where's the entrance? There it is. And oxygen is right here. And we get to fill it up without going anywhere. Really saves a lot of time. Just cut that away. Careful of the fuel tank. Cut those away. Oh, I got a little worried there. But then we just boop that away. Oh yeah, and this actually lined up perfectly with the processor. And then fuel tank, go right around down there. Yeah, stay down there, even though I kind of threw it to the side. Space gets weird with like directions and whatnot. Hey, we got another salvage goal. And we still have like over half of our time. Man, we're doing really good today. And this latch is open, so that door console isn't doing anything. Go down there with you. Now, is there anything? Oh, oh, we can rip out the ladder. Uh, sure, don't know what you do with the ladder, but you can have it. And there's a repair kit here. I thought I grabbed this already. Ah, oh, well, I'll grab another one. Doesn't hurt. Uh, patch kit. I feel like those patch kits might be something that you grab, like, when you need it, not to, like, use later. But the repair tools you can use, like, later. So those are always good to pick up. Let's just get these computers off. And yeet them down into the hole. See, I'm hoping we can get to the point where we can just cleanly cut the ship in half. Because we are a ship cutter after all. One more door switch. And this bridge is a bit of a nuisance with that. But well, we can cut away more of the hull, so I'm okay with that. Whoa. Oh, I think I hit the bridge a little bit. The uh, tunnel to the bridge, anyway. But it doesn't matter, because it all gets burnt up anyway. And with this one, this bit of hull should be free to go. Yeah. So then... Whoa. <laughs> it's taking more than it should. Come on. Get off of there, you. Just... Like... Yeah, just like that. And now we send you on your way. First we get out there, and then just boop you like crazy. So we can save on tethers. And this bridge is almost empty. Cutter. Whoop. Your equipment durability is dropping. Oh no, my Denial. thing got damaged. You don't wanna be that's annoying. In the wind with too. Okay, yeah, that's when we use the repair kits in the hab. But you know, it's fine. It's still working good for today anyway. And then... You know, I think this thing might be light enough. Oh, just kidding. It's definitely not light enough. It's still attached all back here. And that mounting plate needs to go into the processor. So we'll just do a little cheeky cut around it. Yeah, and it's destroying the aluminum. That's fine. It's not worth all that much. Five minutes left on the shift. I can handle that. Just send that to the processor, because that's definitely going to be worth more than the aluminum. Oh, it's actually worth about the same. I guess it didn't matter. But we send this down, I guess up, down. That's down towards Earth. I'm upside down in space. It's a lot to think about. But we can cut away the rest of the bridge by doing something like this. And then that should be free. It should be free, I think, anyway. Oh, it's still connected down here. Really? That's annoying. Oxygen's low again. There we go. Now that's free. And we can send that 
Uh, where's the furnace? There's a furnace. You know what, let's just tether you and send you on your way so I don't have to worry about it as much. And take that with you. And take this with you. And that as well. Okay, now I need to get oxygen. And we just pull ourselves back. Whee! And we arrive nicely at the kiosk for some oxygen. And back to it. I think we can get the rest of this ship in three minutes. Hopefully. Because if I can, then it's not worth coming back here. Okay, send that panel away. And this guy, this big old guy. We need to get going over there. Tether supplies dropping. Oh, tether supplies are low. But I think I can use the rest that I have efficiently. Airlock switch go down there. And can we get the airlock out now? We can. Aha. Whoa. Go that way. Don't crash into me. And then this thing we need to use tethers for because it's so heavy. So go that way. And go that way. Yes, that's working very nicely. And now all that's left is this little bit in here. So I'll tell you what we can do. We can rip out the rest of these important bits. Ooh. Another salvage goal. Okay, yeah, we can totally get to five in two minutes. I believe we can. I'm also gonna pick up some fuel because mine's running low. There we go. Send that into the barge, like that. And we just cut this thing in half. So, cut like that. Oh, hey, we did it. <laughs> Yay, and I got an achievement called the way of the world. I have no idea what it means. But we're just cutting, gonna cut the rest of the ship in half. Ooh, what is that? That's a door. Um, do I really care about the door? Not really. I just care about cutting ships in half. Shot, One, One minute left. We can do this. Well, you know, we already got to salvage goal five, so we don't need to do it per se, but I want to. Okay, you know what? Better idea. We're just gonna tether the whole thing into the furnace because that seems a lot more time efficient. Get yeah, I know I'm out of tethers. I use them all. I was there when it happened. And there it goes. And that should be the rest of the ship. Look at it just flying away into the furnace. Oh, it's a wonderful sight indeed. Oh, come on, please make it. Eight seconds. Why are you not going in? You're supposed to make it. Really? You were right there. Six million from that cut, which gives us a total salvage of $10 million worth. That was a fun ship. And there's a lot of expensive bits on there. Like all those computer terminals we salvaged were already over a million. That is crazy. Hey, and we get a new uh, shipbreaker rank. Rank six. I think that gives us some new stuff to play with. Ooh, and we get a new ship as well. An Atlas Nomad. That looks fun. But, you know, we still have to pay a whole bunch of fees after the shift is done. So, we get a little less than we wanted. That's great. But I tell you what, guys, that's going to be for another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I have a lot of fun with this game. I've been following it for a while. So, if you want to see more, then definitely let me know. And, sub to intern.